Welcome to the spoken tutorial on display counter using Arduino. In this tutorial, we will learn to connect an LCD and a push button to Arduino board and write a program to increase the count whenever the push button is pressed. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of electronics and basic knowledge of C or C++ programming language. To record this tutorial, I am using Arduino Uno board, Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system and Arduino IDE. In an earlier tutorial in this series, we had created a circuit using Arduino and LCD. We will use the same circuit in this tutorial. Here, we will add a push button and make a simple counter. We have already learned about the working of push button in an earlier tutorial. Now, let us learn the connection circuit details. A push button is connected to a 100 ohm resistor. The push button is connected to pin number 7 and a 100 ohm resistor is connected to the ground. All other connections are exactly the same as in our previous experiment. This is the live setup of the connection, as shown in the circuit diagram. Now, we will write a program in the Arduino IDE. So, let's switch to the Arduino IDE. First, we need to include the liquid crystal library. Type the code as shown. I have initialized a variable LCD of type liquid crystal. Here, pin number 12 is initialized as register select and pin number 11 as enable. The next four parameters represent data lines of LCD. In the void setup function, type lcd.begin16, 2 as shown. This command initializes the LCD with rows and columns. Next, we will set up the pin number 7 as input. Type the code as shown. In another way, we can store the pin number in a variable P button. Let us define the P button variable as shown. Now, we will write the code for void loop. Whenever the push button is pressed, one count is increased on the LCD. We will write a simple IF statement to check whether the push button is pressed or not. Before displaying the count, let us check the status of the button. This command will set the cursor position in the LCD. LCD.print will print the message. We will now compile and upload the program. Now, I will press the push button. Here, we see the message button pressed in the LCD. It shows that the push button is working successfully. Next, we will modify the program to set a counter. We need a variable for counter. Now, we will initialize the variable count to zero. Modify the print statement as shown here. Count plus plus will increase the count by one each time the button is pressed. Let us now compile and upload the program. Now, I will press the push button. It didn't work as expected. We see a different count displayed here. Why is this so? This is because we specified the status for button pressed. But we didn't mention the status for button released. The output shows the incremented number based on the button pressed time. So, we will write a while statement as shown here. This will display the count 
when the push button is in pressed state. That means the pin 7 is in high mode. When you release the button, the state is low and it will come out of the while loop. Let me explain the program. The program starts with initialization of the LCD. We have the variable P button and count. Inside the void setup function, we have initialized the LCD with 16 columns and 2 rows. Then the pin mode is input for the pin number 7. In the void loop function, we are checking the condition whether the push button is high or not. When the push button is pressed, the cursor is set to position 0, 0. The lcd.print statement will print the count value. Initially count is 0. Count plus plus would be 1. When the button is released, it will break the while loop and come out of the loop. Again, if you press the button, the next iteration begins and it increases the count. Let us compile and upload the program. Now, I'll press the button once and release it. Again, I'll press and release the button. You can see that the count is increased whenever the button is pressed. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to connect an LCD and push button to Arduino board and write a program to display the count whenever the push button is pressed. Do the following assignment. Change the same program to display the count as 2, 4, 6 and so on. Compile and upload the program and observe the count displayed in the LCD. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMAICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. Thanks for watching.